Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss multiple choice question with solution on process calculation or stoichiometry. If you know the answer to any question, please comment in the comment box. And if you like my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Idda. So let's see the first question. Equal masses of CH4 and H2 are mixed in an empty container. The partial pressure of hydrogen in this container expressed as the fraction of the total pressure is Options are Option A 1 by 9 Option B 8 by 9 Option C 1 by 2 Option D 5 by 9 So answer is Option B 8 by 9 Let's see how So in this example Given that Mass of CH4 and H2 are equal Hence Let's take basic as Mass of CH4 and H2 is equal to 100 gram Now As we know Partial pressure of H2 is calculated as Product of Mole fraction of H2 that is XH2 And total pressure that is P So to calculate mole fraction First we have to calculate moles of H2 and CH4 Hence moles of H2 is equal to And Moles of CH4 is equal to So after putting the values of Moles of H2 and CH4 in partial pressure equation we get Partial pressure of H2 is equal to 8 divided by 9 into P Hence the answer is Option B 8 by 9 Now Next question 56 grams of nitrogen and 96 grams of oxygen are mixed with isothermally at total pressure of 10 atmospheres The partial pressure of oxygen and nitrogen in atmosphere are respectively Options are Option A 4 6 Option B 5 5 Option C 2 8 Option D 8 2 So answer is Option A 4 6 Let's see how so given that Mass of nitrogen is equal to 56 grams Mass of oxygen is equal to 96 grams And total pressure that is P is equal to 10 atmospheres And we have to find Partial pressure of nitrogen and oxygen So to calculate partial pressure we use formula as Partial pressure of component is equal to Mole fraction of that component into total pressure Hence for this We have to first find out mole fraction as it is not given So as we know The number of mole of any component is equal to Given mass divided by Molecular mass of that component Hence, number of mole of nitrogen that is 
N1 is calculated as Similarly, moles of oxygen that is N2 is calculated as Now, partial pressure of nitrogen is calculated as So we get PN2 is equal to 4 Then, partial pressure of oxygen is equal to Total pressure minus partial pressure of nitrogen. Hence we get PO2 is equal to 6. Hence we get answer as Option A 4, 6. Now, next question. Vapor pressures of Pure A and B are 100 and 150 mm of mercury respectively. 2 moles of liquid A and 3 moles of liquid B are mixed to form an ideal solution. The vapor pressure of solution will be Options are Option A 135 mm of mercury Option B 130 mmHg Option C 140 mmHg Option D 145 mmHg So answer is Option B 130 mmHg Let's see how So in this example Given that Vapor pressure of a that is PA0 is equal to 100 mmHg And Vapor pressure of B that is PB0 is equal to 150 mmHg then given that moles of liquid are that is Na is equal to 2 and moles of liquid B that is Nb is equal to 2 and we have to find vapor pressure of solution of A and B now the formula for vapor pressure of solution is it can be written in terms of moles we get so after solving this we get P is equal to 130 mmHg Hence we get answer as Option B 130 mmHg Now Next question A solution A is prepared in B at temperature of 298 Kelvin the vapor pressure is found to be 32 meters bar. The vapor pressure of pure liquid B at 298 Kelvin is 40 meters bar. The mole fraction B in the solution is. Options are. Option A. 0 0.5. Option B. 0 0.2. Option C. 0 0.6 Option D 0 0.8 So answer is Option D 0 0.8 Let's see how So in this question we have given Vapor pressure of solution A in B That is P is equal to 32 meters bar And Vapor pressure of pure B That is PB0 is equal to 40 meters bar Hence the vapor pressure of solution is P is equal to PB0 into XB So after putting the values and solving it, we get XB is equal to 0 
Hence we get answer as option D 0.8. Now, next question. If 3 moles of A at 25 degrees Celsius is mixed with 2 moles of B to form an ideal solution, the vapor pressure of solution is found to be 184 torr. At 25 degrees Celsius the vapor pressure of A is 200 torr. What is the vapor pressure of at that temperature? Options are Option A 180 torr Option B 160 torr Option C 140 torr Option D 200 torr So answer is option B 160 torr. Let's see how. So vapor pressure of ideal solution of A and B. That is B is equal to 184 torr. And vapor pressure of pure A. That is P is 0 is equal to 200 torr moles of A, that is Na is equal to 3 moles, and moles of B, that is Nb is equal to 2 moles. Hence the vapor pressure of solution is, P is equal to. So by replacing mole fraction of A and B, by moles of A and B, we get Hence, after putting the values and solving it, we get PB0 is equal to 160 torr. Hence, we get answer as Option B 160 torr. Now, next question. When the mixture of solution A and solution B Boil at 80 degrees Celsius. The vapor pressure of solution found to be 760 mmHg. The amount of a in mixture is dash. When at 80 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of pure liquid A and pure liquid B is 500 mmHg and 1000 mmHg respectively. Options are Option A 50 mole percent Option B 54 mole percent Option C 34 mole percent Option D 48 mole percent So answer is option A 50 mole percent. Let's see how. So vapor pressure of ideal solution of A and B that is P is equal to 760 mmHg. And vapor pressure of pure A that is P is 0 is equal to 520 mmHg and vapor pressure of pure b that is pb0 is equal to 1000 mmhg hence the vapor pressure of solution is p is equal to as we know xa plus xb is equal to 1 hence xb is equal to 1 minus xa Hence, after putting the values and solving it, we get XA0 is equal to 0 0.5 That is 50% Hence, we get answer as Option A 50 mole percent So that's all about 
important questions on process calculations in the next video we will discuss another set of questions if you like my video please like my video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel